but I have something else in mind. Uh, I want to talk about this, and it might not be what you want to talk about. But carry on because we're getting the same. One of the things that um, keeps my mind occupied recently is the question about character and how do you create a relationship between people and our products. And over decades, legislation and then generations of car designers have created a toolkit that makes vehicles um, look like or feel like creatures. And that's quite fascinating in a way because it's one of the, or it's the most complex industrial product. It's nearly a little bit unfair to the craftsmanship part of the job because that is the basis. And it takes decades for people in our trade to get to that level of understanding how sculpture needs to be, the volumes, proportions, all of these things we like to talk about, they are the foundation. And I think then it gets interesting because the skill, as I said, is the base level. And when it comes to the character, then suddenly values like perceived intelligence. That's a very uh, interesting one because, okay, beauty is very subjective. The easy one is being aggressive or, or displaying aggression in design because we know how a face looks when you're angry. That is easy to inject into a product. But intelligence, try that. But there is a way, I think, and it, it is noticeable. I think that intelligence is not, because it is not an emotion, it's not something that can be done in one sculptural statement. You have to combine it with added value of the product. So for example, communicating technology, having layers of discovering things. This leads to a perception of intelligence. It's not just a superficial shape that can do that. It's the combination. It's such an abstract concept and it's so tricky to talk about it. Projecting that on products and then discussing it there is even, is even harder, I think. But it's something I, I play with and I think about a lot. If there is something else than the superficial emotions to convey in design. The fascinating thing about Polestar 3 is its way of reinterpreting the SUV because it doesn't lose in the characteristics of an SUV. It is extremely distilled to the essence of an SUV, but at the same time, it clearly shows a step into a new era. In design, you have tools to play with proportion and with dimension. You can work with those elements in a way that you can visually reduce the size of a car or the impression of a car. So we work a lot with contrast and graphics. In Polestar 3, we have contrast materials within the body side. We have very clear SUV claddings and they also have a contrast color. So we, let's say, disguise the shape of the general body in a very clever way. So SUVs, they mostly come with a lot of space on the interior, which is good. But there are three dimensions to this space. And the crucial dimensions for the feeling within the cabin of a car is the length of it and the width of it. In the height, there is oftentimes a lot of excess space, which has a few negative connotations. It leads to a bigger frontal area, which is worse for efficiency, and it creates those typical tall SUV proportions that are also controversial sometimes. So if there is one dimension you can debate, then it's the height of the car, and that's what Polestar 3 does. There is a lot of space laterally and in length, and the car has a very sporty characteristic when it comes to height. And for us, that is the perfect symbiosis of SUV characteristics and an extremely dynamic car. So Polestar 3 has this extremely compact and sporty impression from the outside because we have these massive wheels that we get through electrification that also really pay into the whole SUV character. And then we have an extremely sporty cabin on top. 
What it means though, is that the only dimension that you are reducing is the extra space that you are carrying around above your heads, which arguably you probably don't need. So you have a massive cabin on the inside, but you have a near sports car proportional look on the outside. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, share.